you're welcome to my channel in this video we want to draw an ellipse using an approximate method of construction now the first thing we'll do is you take your set square your two square you place it right place your two square on your drawing sheet and you move just draw a line, horizontal line this way. You can see that. Now the next thing you do is to draw a vertical line too. At any distance of a choice, I can choose to place it on my T-square to draw the vertical line at any distance of a choice. Oh, good so I'll see that okay let me draw it from here and I'll have this oh good now the difference between this method and other method is that what the major axis is always vertical while the minor axis is what horizontal so the 166 will be on the vertical so i'm going to measure half of 166 which will be uh, 83 right i'll measure 166 which will be 83 from this point this is 83 81 82 83 here and i'll place that in the center you can see that and i'm going to draw um I'm going to draw, I'll just mark it up and I'll mark down. So that point will be my point A and also my point B. You can see that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the minor axis. And the minor axis is given as what 108, which will give us as 54, half of it 154. I'm going to measure 54 on my metal rule this way from 0. This is 50 and 54 over here. Right? And I'll place it at the same center. I'll mark left and I'll mark right. So that point will be point C and what? And point D. I see that? Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, the first step you do is to draw a line that's going to connect A and C. How good? You connect what? A and C. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to draw an arc from this point. So point A, you can see that, I'll draw an arc this way, from point A, to get a new point, that will be what, my point what, E. Now, the next step is, you place your compass at point C, which will just E, right, and you draw another arc this way. I'll cut AC. Where it cuts AC, you're going to call it point what? Point F. Now we have FA now. Now you're going to bisect what? FA. Now in bisecting FA, you place your compass using the principle of bisection. Place your compass both at C and A. Right? And you strike an arc on this side, you strike an arc on this side, and you strike on the other side too. How good? Then you place it on A, you strike an arc to cut the two arc you bought, you measured. You can click on this link in order to see how to bisect the line. Now what I'm trying to say that you get the half of what? Of FA. I'm going to take my metal rule and I'll draw a line 
from the two point there right and i'll have this this way draw the line to the extent i'll use a bigger um rule to use it this way from this point to the other points where they intersect just draw your line that will move and cut the horizontal axis here so where it cuts the horizontal axis here you're going to call it h2 is that taking another way you can bisect your line is if you don't want to bisect that way is just to get the total distance and what i'm saying here is 70 from here to here is what 70 and half of 70 is what 35 so that's 35 will be the center of that line right or you just bisect it anyway so that's it of that line you are going to draw a perpendicular line to that point i'm telling you if you don't know how to bisect you get the center line and draw a perpendicular line from that point how will you draw a perpendicular line just place your compass right at this point then you draw a semicircle is an alternative method you draw a semicircle and you extend it where the semicircle meets at let's call here point to be point b or point g let me say point r so from point where the circle meets point r here so this will be my r1 and this will be what my r2 so you can just place it your meter will extend it place it at r1 you strike an arc you place it at r2 you strike another arc so where they meet you're going to take your line to pass through that point from r are you with me now take your line to pass through that point from r and the same thing you're going to get all together that is the alternative method so let's move forward now what you've done here now where the line cuts this line you've drawn here where it cuts this line here we'll call it g1 you call it what g1 now you place your compass from this point to g1 you mark the opposite side that will be what g2 Similarly, you place your compass from this point to this point H1, that is H2, in order to get H1. Look at what I'm doing. Then I'll take you to that point here. Yeah. That will be what? My H1 at this point. So those points are the points that I need. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place, take my meter rule, right? And I'll draw, just like I draw, draw a line here. I also do the same thing from G to H1. Then I'll draw this. You can see that. I'll come again from G2 to H1. I'll do the same thing. Then for G2 to H2, I'll do the same thing. You can see that so what you just do is you place your compass at g2 to a and you draw a curve you come here also from g to b you draw another one Can see that then you come from h2 here from the h2 here you come to this point here right and you get it i see that then with the same thing you come to h1 Get it to this point here, 
I'll do the same thing. So you can just adjust it. Is it very well there? You can see that. So this is our ellipse using approximate method. So this is the approximate method of what? Of construction of an ellipse, right? So the same procedure if you want to draw a tangent, you follow the same procedure in drawing it, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.